This training mission follows the procedures described on the flight manual of the real aircraft, adapted for use on the F-4C free aircraft module created by VSN for DCS. The procedure step numbers, when provided, corresponds to those of the real manual. For brevity, we will skip those steps that corresponds to items not simulated yet, or that can't be performed on DCS. The cold start procedure includes the following sections, external power connected, before starting engines, starting engines, and before taxi. If the cockpit interior is too dark, activate the flashlight with left alt plus L. If the yellow cross cursor is not visible, press left alt plus left shift plus C to make it appear. You can adjust the sound volume produced by the background air traffic, by moving the in-cockpit sound slider, on the DCS options, audio screen, which you can access by pressing the escape key. This instructor's volume level can be adjusted with the helmet sound slider. Also, you can press spacebar to skip long voiceovers. The F4C electrical system does not include batteries. Also, there is no APU to provide starting air. Because of this, an external electrical power supply and a source of starter air are required for ground starting the engines. External ground power, connect. Bring up the communications menu, with the backslash key. Select, F8, ground crew, F2, ground electric power, F1, turn power on. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now on. Generator control switches, set both to external. Cockpit lights, as desired. You can flick the highlighted switch, or press the L key to illuminate the cockpit with red backlight. Master light switch, as required. You can click on the highlighted switch, or press right Alt plus L, to toggle navigation and or formation lights. Currently the taxi landing lights are not simulated yet. Boost pumps, normal. Set both fuel boost pumps to their normal position. External air supply, connect. Bring up the communications menu, with the backslash key. Select, F8, ground crew, F8, ground air supply, F1, connect. Chief, connect ground air supply. Copy. Rudder, ground air check supply is now by connected. Ultimately pressing the left and right rudder pedals. Canopies, close and check. You can either click on the highlighted lever, or press left control plus C. Contact air traffic control, to request permission to start engines. Bring up the communications menu, with the backslash key. Select, F5, ATC, F1, Saipan International, F3, request startup. Press spacebar once ATC grants permission. On the real aircraft, the right engine should be started first, in order to ascertain that both utility hydraulic system pumps are operating. On DCS this is not yet simulated. Throttles, off. Check that both the virtual aircraft throttle, and your real HOTA's throttle are at the off position. Engine master switches, set both to on. Engine start switch, set to its right position, the engine will begin to rotate. At 10% RPM, on the real aircraft the ignition circuits should be activated and the right throttle should be advanced into idle, but this is not yet simulated on DCS. Engine start switch, set to its neutral mid position, once the right engine reaches idle RPM at around 70%. 
Right exhaust gas temperature, check, it should be between 320 to 400 degrees Celsius. Right fuel flow, check. It should be between 1100 and 1400 pph at idle. Right generator control switch, set right gen to on. Start the left engine on the same way as the right one. Engine start switch, set to its left position. The engine will begin to rotate. At 10% RPM, on the real aircraft the ignition circuits should be activated and the right throttle should be advanced into idle, but this is not yet simulated on DCS. Engine start switch, set to neutral once the left engine reaches idle RPM at around 70%. Left EGT, check, it should be between 320 to 400 degrees Celsius. Left fuel flow, check, it should be between 1100 to 1400 pph at idle. Left generator control switch. Set left gen to on. External electrical power and starting air, disconnect. Disconnect the external ground power. Bring up the communications menu, with the backslash key. Select, F8, ground crew, F2, ground electric power, F2, turn power off. Chief, turn off the ground power. Copy. Ground power disconnect the external off. air supply. Bring up the communications menu again, with the backslash key. Select, F8, ground crew, F8, ground air supply, F2, disconnect. Chief, disconnect ground air supply. Copy. Ground Good, air supply the ground is crew has disconnected from the aircraft both the electric and air supply connections. Wings, spread and locked, by pressing the right control plus P key. Speed brakes. Cycle and check, using the B key. Flaps. Cycle and check, either by clicking the highlighted lever, or by pressing the F key. Arresting hook. Cycle and check, either by clicking the highlighted lever, or by pressing the left alt plus G key. All flight controls. Free, full travel and proper movement. Move the control stick left to right and front to back, checking that the control surfaces move accordingly. Press the rudder pedals left and right and confirm that the rudder moves accordingly. Trim, check and set for takeoff. Check trim operation and leave rudder and aileron trim at neutral. For shore takeoff, set pitch trim of one unit nose down, using the pitch trim gauge. Sight mode. Set the sight mode knob to standby. Congratulations, this concludes the shore cold start procedure, the aircraft is now ready to taxi. You have successfully finished this training mission. On the next mission we will learn the taxi and takeoff procedures, for now please exit the training by pressing spacebar.